Welcome back. And this time we're going to be looking at the comparison of SE Linux to AppArmor. And we're going to delve in just a little bit. I'm not going to go as far as a tutorial because SE Linux in particular is very complex. And really, it, it'd be better if you just bought a book or went and downloaded some of the Red Hat manuals. And I can provide those for you for links that will help you in starting to learn it. it. Both of these are very powerful tools, and let's explore a little bit as to what they can be used for. Both of these are Linux security modules. You may also hear them referred to as LSMs, and those sort of act like the gatekeepers to your system. They control what applications can and cannot do. There are two options on the table, which you, but which one should you choose? Well, as usual, I'm not going to make that decision for you. Again, I'm going to give you the information you need to make your own decision. So throughout this video, we'll break down SE Linux and AppArmor and compare their features and help you pick the right security solution for your needs. And with that, I am DJ Ware, and this is the Cyber Gizmo. I'd like to take a moment and, and thank the sponsors of this channel, the members of Patreon, as well as the members of the channel through YouTube. Thank you so much for your support and helping bring this content in a higher quality than it would be possible otherwise. So I first we we probably should explain what what are what is SE Linux and App Armor. You've probably come across it in the documentation for if you've used Fedora or Red Hat or Rocky Linux or or even Alma Linux. You may have found documentation in there for SE Linux. If you're on the Ubuntu side or Debian side, you probably have run into discussions of App Armor. So let's talk about each in turn. SE Linux stands for Security Enhanced Linux. It is a heavyweight in the Linux security world. It is a mand mandatory access control system, meaning that it enforces the security policies that you define. So as the administrator, you are the one that creates a, a rule book that applications must follow, and there are no exceptions to that. On the other hand, AppArmor kind of takes a profile-based approach. It creates profiles for, for specific applications, and those profiles outline exactly what they're allowed to do on your system. You can think of it as giving each application a specific set of permission, allow access to files or not. So it's more in tune with files than it is anything else. So... And generally, SE Linux is, is a little bit different. So let's explore some of those differences. So we're looking at SE Linux here and AppArmor, and the key difference between them is SE Linux is a comprehensive security solution. It can control everything from the access and network connections that your system is calling to system calls themselves that applications are allowed to make. It is a much more powerful system, but it comes with a price, and that is a steep learning curve. AppArmor, however, focuses on the file access and system calls. It ensures applications can only access the files and the functions that they absolutely need. While it doesn't have the all-encompassing control of SE Linux, it does provide a solid layer of protection. The next big difference is configuration. SE Linux isn't known for being user-friendly. It is a complex policy language that requires in-depth security knowledge. You might think of it as writing code to define its security rules, so it's, it's not exactly considered a walk in the park. AppArmor, on the other hand, takes a simpler approach. It uses user profiles that define allowed capabilities for each application. 
It's more like creating permission sets, which is definitely easier to manage. So back to the learning curve, <laughs> SE Linux will take you a while to get your head wrapped around. The complex configuration language alone requires significant expertise. App Armor, on the other hand, is much easier to learn, and it makes it a good choice for those who are new to application security. So before you make a choice between SE Linux and App Armor, there might be some other considerations. Think about your security requirements. Uh, you may need high security with granular control over everything your applications do. And in that case, SE, SE Linux might be a best bet. If, on the other hand, you're looking for basic protection and ease of use, App Armor would be a good fit. System complexity also plays a role here. If you're managing a complex system with many applications interacting with each other, SE Linux might introduce additional management overhead. In simpler systems, App Armor might be sufficient to keep things secure. So finally, consider your expertise on where you are in the, your ability to be able to configure and manage these two. If you have experience as a security administrator and you think you can handle SE inter intricacies, it probably offers more control. But for users who are less familiar with security, App Armor is simpler, the configuration is easier to understand, and that might be preferable. So there you have it. SE Linux and App Armor are both powerful tools, and both can secure your Linux system. The right choice depends on your specific needs and your expertise and level of confidence in your capabilities. SE Linux offers comprehensive security with granular control. It comes with a steeper learning curve, and it also is more rigorous when it comes to testing. Also, it is not very forgiving of misconfigurations, as <laughs> I found out when I was first learning to use it. So if you misspell something in your SE Linux configuration file that's in Etsy, your system will not reboot. <laughs> so uh, when you're first, if you are going down the road for SE Linux, my suggestion would be to use a VM, snapshot the VM before you make any changes that require a reboot, and then test your, your changes, and then if it doesn't work, you have a fallback. So App Armor, however, is a little bit of a simpler approach with a focus on file access control and it just makes it easier to learn and implement. It also is a little easier to test. I mean, you don't have quite as rigorous test routines because its function and scope is, is limited to a, a subset of what SE Linux can do. So ultimately, the best security solution, as we always say, is the one you use. Neither one are effective if they're not turned on. So remember, securing your system is an ongoing process. This is only one, one link in the chain. So don't rely on this as your absolute only uh, security mechanism. To me, it's unfortunate that we have all of these tools that you have to piece together into a, into a chain of things and to hopefully get them to work together without interjecting any more, you know, possibilities for vulnerabilities to slip in. Anytime you install a service, you're inviting another place for a crack to appear in the uh, armor of your system. So, so I, I think, the, you know, for me, stay tuned. But for now, thanks for joining us. And if you have any questions, Leave them in the comments below and hit that subscribe button and share it with your friends. And I hope to see you all again in the next video. And bye for now.